My name is Brian Davis. My law firm is the Davis Law Group, and our practice is in Asheville, North Carolina. I've been practicing law a long time now. <laughs> I, uh, I sometimes forget, but it's, it's like 31 years. I chose to practice law actually way back in like the ninth grade. I was in a debate club, and my uh, teacher, who was running the club, pulled me aside and told me that I was I seem to have a, a gift for debating and arguing, and if I really liked that, I should think about being a lawyer. I did, and I, you know, I didn't know any lawyers. My family didn't really you know, associate with any lawyers. I asked my dad if he knew anyone that I could talk to who was a lawyer, and he did, and ended up sort of tagging along behind this criminal lawyer for like two or three days uh, one summer, and loved it and uh, decided that's what I was gonna do. I am a board certified truck accident attorney and my sort of niche or specialty area is hours of service and also the supervision of truck drivers. My philosophy on practicing law is if you're not learning and improving, you're sort of, you're not going along an even plane but you're actually probably getting worse because everyone else is probably passing you by. So unless you're learning and improving yourself all the time, um, you're just not, you're not really being the best lawyer you can be and you're not helping your clients as well as you should be. My practice is a very small niche practice. Um, we only do commercial trucking cases. We don't do a lot of them, but our team is small. You know, it's, it's me really at the head I have two outstanding paralegals, and then my wife is also an attorney in my practice, and she does most of our research and writing. So in terms of important decisions, you know, we've handled a lot of what I would call high profile cases over the years. One was a case back in the late 90s where a car spun out in the rain uh, on an interstate highway and a tractor trailer came along with a very long sight distance <laughs> and unfortunately just slammed right into the SUV. There was a small child, a three-year-old, sitting in a booster seat and the impact caused the child to be ejected from the booster seat and out of the window and onto the interstate. The child ended up being a ventilator dependent quadriplegic. That was a very um, it was a very difficult case for me to handle because it, it involved a very small child. I have three children of my own. Um, our team really came together in that case and we ended up going after not only the truck company and the driver, but also the car seat manufacturer as defendants. And the manufacturer was uh, from Canada, so we ended up having to you know, do a lot of stuff in Canada a lot of depositions and testing. And the truck company was from the, the West Coast. So, you know, we spent a lot of time deposing them, their corporate representatives, their safety people, their logistics people, their dispatchers. I mean, we deposed almost the entire management of that company. Um, ended up getting a phenomenal result for the child. It's a confidential result. And, you know, even, I don't know how long it's been, 20 some years later, you know, things remain confidential, so I can't tell you how much, but it was a record result in North Carolina and probably in the U.S. 